My name is Jacob. I was born and raised in Colorado. Um, most recently, I live in China for work. Um, if you want some receipts as for how much of a Republican I am, not only could you check my ballots um, throughout previous elections, um, but I used to run the College Republicans and revive the chapter on my campus in undergrad um, and quickly became a leader of it. I also served as the secretary of the Colorado College Republicans in 2011 and 2012. Um, and during that time, I participated in many different campaigns, um, different initiatives at the local, state, and federal level. So if you want to know how much of a Republican I am, you can see how much I've actually done for the party, unlike a lot of the armchair, own the libs, MAGA supporters um, that spend most of their time online. Now, in 2016, I did not vote for Donald Trump. In 2020, I will not be voting for Donald Trump because Donald Trump is not a Republican. Fundamentally, we believe in things like limited government, and Donald Trump does not believe in any limits on his power. And his understanding of the Constitution is perhaps limited only to the First and Second Amendment, and only when those suit him. Republicans believe in fiscal discipline, not giving tax breaks that almost exclusively support the wealthiest, the wealthiest Americans who already have the most resources. But also, Republicans believe that if you're going to cut taxes, you also need to cut spending so that we have a commensurate shift that doesn't create a ballooning deficit and debt that gets passed on to our children and our grandchildren. Republicans believe in personal integrity, which the hyena of a man, Donald Trump, is completely devoid of. Um, I often ask myself, would I like my nieces to aspire to the person that I'm voting for? Would I like my future sons and daughters to look up to that person? And the resounding answer for Donald Trump is no. Republicans also believe in strong foreign policy, where we support our allies and confront our enemies. And Donald Trump has done neither of those. He systematically crippled the system of alliances the, the United States has built since the end of World War II that have ensured world peace and prosperity for our allies and allowed us to confront our greatest foes. Instead, he piles up with people like Putin and Xi and leaves a vacuum for Russia and China to be able to, take, to fill. Republicans also believe in good, resilient, and enduring government. Resi resilient and enduring government means something more than just using executive orders to get your job done because you don't know how the legislature works, which is basically what Donald Trump has done for everything except for his tax cuts. Um, these don't mean anything fundamentally because the moment that a Democrat becomes president, they can just undo them. Now, real legislative change is what Republicans believe in. Furthermore, we believe in good governance and good governance means addressing something like a pandemic head on and addressing it before it comes to our shores not after, and not only after the stock market starts to plummet. It also means that we address the shortcomings of our democracy, that when somebody like George Floyd is killed by the police in a truly brutal fashion, that rather than hunkering down in his bunker in the White House, the president comes out and speaks to the nation, reassuring them that we will find a better way forward, that we will seek out justice, and that the people have the right to be angry, albeit not disorderly. These are the kinds of things that we should expect from any Republican and from any leader, to be fair. And these are things that Donald Trump has repeatedly failed to live up to. We have 100,000 dead Americans and counting. Um, we don't know what that number will be by the time of the election, but it will continue to grow. And this is something that any president, um, any president would have been able to address. Um, Democrat or Republican, they would have done a better job, guaranteed better job, than what Donald Trump has managed to do. We look back to something like, um, you know, the Iran hostage crisis and what that meant for President Carter and how Republicans raged against his failure to protect American diplomats. And we, we as Republicans, raged against Obama for his failure to protect American diplomats and soldiers in Benghazi. And we're talking about very, very small numbers of casualties, tragic, but few. And 100,000 Americans have already died under Donald Trump. That's a quarter of the number of American soldiers who died overseas during the entirety of the Second World War, which raged on for nearly four years with American involvement. And in just a couple of months, a quarter as many Americans have died because of a preventable, controllable pandemic that he decided to ignore because he didn't like how the stock market was going. So I'll be voting for Joe Biden. 
I encourage other Republicans that are true Republicans, not merely the Freedom Caucus and the MAGA people who have infected our party and destroyed what was great about it. Um, I encourage all of them, all of us, to vote for Joe Biden, to see that Donald Trump and his MAGA supporters are purged from our party and not just from the White House.